it's definitely challenging to use pricing to reduce water use um, because there are competing goals. Um, I, I, I usually talk about three main goals that the water that the retail agencies are trying to achieve, and one is an efficient allocation of water, which which again refers to this idea of making sure that water goes to its most highly valued uses, that we're not wasting it, right? We're not using a lot of water on low valued uses that we really don't don't need or care about. So that efficiency is one. Fairness is another, which is this idea that if water were allocated by a competitive market, some people could be priced out of that market. That's not a problem for a good that's not essential to your well-being. It is a problem if it's water or if it's food. And so uh, retail agencies try to develop price structures that are both efficient, which means sending a good signal about the scarcity of water and using it only where it's most needed, but also fair, which means allowing every household some amount of low-priced water for basic human need. So the first two are efficiency and fairness, and the third one is financial stability. And so trying to develop a price structure that is both efficient and fair and gives you the revenue that you need to cover your costs in a lot of different situations that you might find yourself in is a real challenge, um, especially when, it, when you can't predict the future exactly. Um, and so when you talk to uh, financial managers and rate consultants who are in charge of doing this, they'll invariably tell you that it's part art and part science, that you cannot just sit down with calculations and decide, aha, this is exactly how it ought to be done. And largely that's because um, people have different definitions of what fair is. Uh, fairness to one group might be overly generous to another group, or it might not be generous enough to a third group. And so there needs to be both a combination of financial planning and on the finance, on the finance side, economic analysis on the efficiency side, but also really a discussion, a debate about what is fair and what isn't fair, and how much are certain groups willing to give up in order to achieve that fairness and effectively provide a good, a service to another group that can't afford it at the prices that it's going to be offered at. And so that, that is all that needs to be done. <laughs>